Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. I know for regular viewers, it's been a hot minute and I've not done any videos for a while, but in 2024, I wanna help you crush it with Canva. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a series of videos starting off with navigating the homepage. And each week we're gonna go in and show you something new inside of Canva, do something exciting. And so in 2024, we're gonna be able to know exactly how to use Canva to its most. So I thought I'd take a few moments to just take things back to the basics and show you a little bit around in Canva and help you get started with Canva in 2024. And together we'll be able to crush Canva together. So the first thing you're gonna see, I'm using the browser version here right now and we are gonna to switch to the app version in a few moments and they do look exactly the same. So navigating your way around, if you wanna turn on and off this side menu bar, you can just click these three lines up in the top left-hand corner. And if you ever wanna get back to the home page, you can always just click on the Canva icon or click the home button here, and that'll bring you back to the home page here. Across the top here, we've got some other options that you can go in and look at. You've got all the different pricing options. There is a 45 day trial down below if you wanna try Canva Pro, highly recommend it. There's gonna be a lot of additional options and features that you're gonna be able to use with Canva Pro. And then there are some Canva options to learn but as I say, if you subscribe to my channel here, I'm gonna be giving you weekly or even twice a week updates on how to get things done inside of Canva over the next year. That's my commitment to you. If I miss any of those, then you can tell me off in the comments. Next thing we've got across the top here, we've got this little icon here and you'll see as we hover over that, it says open the app. So we're gonna switch straight over to the app. And if I just, quickly shuffle over to the app you'll see that the app is no different really to the website however we do get a little bit more space when we use the app you can see all of the menu down the side here is exactly the same so i'm just going to maximize this and go from here with the app and you'll notice because we're now in the app we don't have the icon you've got your settings menu here and you can come over to the settings menu in here. I'm not gonna go through all of the settings and things like that. You're not gonna probably want to know about these in a lot of cases, but you can come through, you can click your message preferences. So you can sign up to newsletters that Canva send out and you've got privacy settings, you've got team details. If you've got a team set up, all of your other options and permissions and apps and purchase history. And if you've got a Canva website, which we'll come on to in a future training session, then you can access all of that from the settings menu right here. So I'm just gonna click on the Canva icon and take us back to the homepage. Next, you'll see here, if you're a member of multiple teams, you can switch between those teams here. So I could switch to uh, the Canva Verified Experts team if I wanted to, but I'm in my own account here. And that's what I wanna show you is my own account. This is an account that does need some work doing on it when it comes to organizing, but we're gonna work through all of that over the coming year. Next, we've got the option to click on Magic Studio, and this is gonna tell you a little bit more about Magic Studio and some of the magic features and things like that that you can use in Canva. Now, as I say, if you're not using Canva Pro, there is a 45 day trial of Canva Pro down in the description below or over on my website, Better Content Creators, because you are going to need to have a pro account to use a lot of these magic features and i will be covering a lot of the magic features in a future video once we get into designing inside of canva as i say today we're looking at the home page and the main menus and things like that on how you can just get started to navigate your way around the home screen next we've got projects now this is where you're going to come if you've created designs already inside of canva this is gonna be your starting point. So you're gonna be able to come in here, you're gonna be able to access your folders, you're gonna be able to access all of your designs. You can see I've been playing about a lot with all sorts of random designs here, and you're gonna be able to just come in and add those. You can move them into a folder if you want to, and I highly recommend keeping your designs sorted and organized. You can see 
the only one or a couple of these that are in folders it'll tell me that they're in folders because it's got this kind of slightly highlighted design here so i can see that this one i've put in a folder any that don't have this item here or see this one here i was working on this with my friend cara if it doesn't have a folder icon here you will see it and also you can rename your designs from here when you click on the little pencil icon you could just give that a name if you wanted to you can also come over to brand templates any images you've uploaded you can see i've been doing a lot of lego things on my account on this account recently i've been updating and you might notice if you are a regular viewer and you've been here for a while i've updated my background and i've been building a lot of lego I do have a Lego YouTube channel I've started as well called Lunchtime Builds. So if you like Lego, go check that out. I'll put a link to that down in the description below. And then you've got any videos you've uploaded. None of these are organized. And yes, I do say you should organize your files and I will be getting around and we will be working through this account and getting a little bit more organized on this account together. So from our projects, you can click add new if you want to up here and you can just click add a new folder or you can add an upload or you can import from an app if you wanted to. Let's go into a folder. So if I go into a folder, I can click add new design. You can see that once we're actually inside a folder, that now gives us the option to add a new design, add a brand template, or we can add a new brand kit to a folder. And I will come on to brand kits in a future video, but not today. We are just showing you around the homepage on where you can actually find these things. So if you do want to find out about setting up brand kits, you are going to need the Canva Pro option. So yeah, do make sure you sign up to Canva Pro. Now we want to just go back to the homepage again. So that was our projects folder and we will be working through that projects folder together at some point in the future on making sure that it's a bit more organized and I'll be showing you some tips and tricks on getting a little bit more organized. Next, we've got templates. Now this is where you can access all of the templates inside of Canva and it's going to show you some of the hottest design trends for 2024. You can click start designing or you can come down the side here and you can choose from social media, different types of education, different video files that you want or anything else like that. You can just select there from any of these templates just by clicking on the drop down option here. You can also access any icons or photos. Next, you can also from the templates option, you can find out the latest templates from content creators that you follow. So there are designers like myself that create content on Canva. And if you want to follow me, my content can be found on canva.com forward slash better content creators. Again, all of the links are down in the description or over on my website under the links section. So I will put all those down there for you. So that's how you can access the creators you follow. These are just a few creators that I follow on this account. And you can see there are some of my templates and you can click on this little icon here and choose to unfollow if you really wanted to. But we don't want to do that. We just want to come and see and you can just click my name and then you can see all of the other content that I create. You can find out all about me. You can access my quick links and I've got 1.2k followers. So we're just going to come back to the home page again. That was templates. Next, we've got our brand kits or brand. And under here, you're going to be able to set up all of your brand kits. If you like, you can add multiple brand kits. You can just click add new, give your brand kit a design name, and then that's going to give you the option to set up a brand kit. We're not setting up a brand kit from brand new here today. We'll have a quick look at my brand kit. So in here, I've got some logos in here and an image that I use on a regular basis. We've got my brand colors and we've set my fonts and you can add new fonts if you want to just by uploading your font here and you can add guidelines for those. You can add in a brand voice and you can also add in photos, graphics and icons. And all of these become easily accessible once you're inside of the design window 
and that's why you would set up your brand kits because you can then apply your brand colors, your brand fonts, and add in any regularly image, used images that you want to use, including things like logos and things like that. So you can, if you want to choose down the side here. So if I was at the top here and I wanted to just jump down to icons, you just select that from this left-hand menu. We're gonna click back to home and I think that's all of that for now. We've got brand templates and brand controls. You can control these. So if you've got people on your team, you can add extra controls and things like that inside of there. So this is our, that's the brand kit. Next on the home page, we've got access to the apps. Now there are more and more apps. I think there's like around about 150 plus apps that you can now access inside of Canva. We've got some of the trending apps. We've got some new and noteworthy apps and you can then choose to explore all of the other apps. If you see over in the right hand side here, you can click see all on say the productivity apps. And this is gonna list all of the productivity apps that you can have inside of Canva. And then you've got AI powered apps as well. So there's lots of apps to kind of go and play about with and explore inside of there. You will sometimes need to sign up to something a little bit extra, but those will give you a lot of additional options and features inside of Canva. Next, we've got the content planner. This has been moved to underneath the apps, and this is where you can plan your content and schedule it out to social media. So you can do that actually from the content planner here. You can just click on the plus icon here, select the channel that you want it to go to, link your accounts up, and that'll allow you to then schedule other option is once you're in a design, you can then schedule that out to the content planner. And we'll come on to that once we come on to designing in a future episode. Next, under this menu, we've got mockups. And this is where if you're, you've got a product or you want to show something on a tablet or a laptop or a watch even, you can do that. You've even got e-readers in here now. You can just click on these and once you've created your image, you will then be able to add that on there. Again, this is gonna be inside of a future video where I'm gonna dive into this a little bit more. And then the next option inside of the apps menu here is product photos. And you can upload a photo, you can take a picture of it. In the background, you can see they've got like a little bit of a demonstration here of the bag just being on the ground and then it actually looking like it's on a table and it's gonna allow you to create some better product photos that is in beta at the moment give it a go if you want to if there's any of these things that you want to see first before i get to them let me know down in the comments i'd love to know what you're most excited for and maybe i'll create those trainings first we're just going to jump back to the home menu and then a couple of options down here i've got starred folders so if we go back to our projects folder here and we go to projects I could then choose to start that folder. And then if I start that folder and then go back to the home page, you'll see now that that folder is starred. So I can access that easily from the home menu or you can access it easily from the home menu once you've starred a folder. Um, and that's gonna then take me straight to that. So I don't have to go in through projects, folders, and then find out where it is that I want. And then we've got two more things just down at the bottom left hand of the menu here. We can invite members to our team, but do know that if you do invite members to your team, that there will and there can be an additional charge for adding members to the team. Next, you can also click on the trash icon and see any designs that you have deleted in the past. I think they stay there for up to around about 30 days and after that, they're fully gone. So, if you do have any questions on that, let me know. That's the left-hand side of the menu. Next on the top here, we've got what were you designed today? So you can type in here anything you want and you'll notice that this little magnifying glass has got a little, few little sparkles here. So we can say Pinterest pins for a trip to Spain and the food that you can find. That's a search that I did a couple of weeks ago when I was doing some training and that's then given us some designs here if i click on templates up here and switch to templates it's going to use that description and actually use ai to create some templates for me and you can see all of these are now pins that you can use that are 
pulled from the data banks of Canva and generated via AI. So that's magic design. And you can see that if you do that on templates, it gives you a little bit of uh, an explanation here. Try typing something and it will generate those AI images for you. Next, underneath that, you've got documents that you will probably be using on a regular basis or that you will have used on a regular basis. It uses AI and changes this on a regular basis. So if you're creating a lot of one particular document, you might see that on here and you can scroll along and see other documents that you might want to cre create. So that's the for you option here. Next, we've got docs, whiteboards, presentations, social media, videos, print products and websites and anything else. So if you want to create a document, you'll notice as I click on each of these or as you click on each of these, the options below will change. So if you click on whiteboards, it gives you different options. Presentations gives you different formats for different presentations. Social media is gonna be your, you can either edit a photo, you can come on to, to create an Instagram post, Facebook pro post, or anything like WhatsApp or anything else like that. You've got all of those down here and you can, yes, edit photos inside of Canva. And again, I am gonna be doing that on a future training. So if that's something you want to know more about, editing your photos inside of Canva, including cropping your photos inside of Canva, make sure you do click that like and follow button and I will come onto those in the future. Yes, you can also create videos inside of Canva. There's some really exciting features that I'm gonna be showing you in some upcoming training, and I can't wait to share all those with you. We're gonna have a look at some print products as well. I'm gonna create some of those, order some samples, and then I'll be able to show you some of those sample images or print products. You can also create some basic websites inside of Canva. This is really good for kind of like portfolios or maybe even a, like a, a landing page that gets people to sign up, but you can choose some and create some really good uh, Canva websites. And then we click on more and you can see there's more options here inside of Canva. And there's a lot to Canva. So whatever you're using Canva for, whether it's for work, education, or you just want to create a flyer or poster for an event that you're organizing, then you can do it inside of Canva. I'm gonna click on the home page, and on this top bar up here, you can see you can just click create a design, whatever it is that you want to start designing. So let's say it was a birthday, card or a birthday calendar or anything else like that you can start typing birthday in here and that's going to give you all of the different options and then you just click that and it will open up your design and you can start designing inside of that you can click custom size so you can if you've got a particular size of something that you want to create a document for you can just choose the width and the heights in there and you can change this between pixels inches, millimeters, and centimeters. And then you can also click on the upload item here, and that'll allow you to upload your files and documents. And it does, if you want to know any particular files or documents that it supports, then you can click on images, videos, and files, um, or hover over those and it'll tell you what it is that it will support. Stick to the main ones, documents, is things like PDF, PowerPoint, Excel, Illustrator, items, you can upload those and edit those then inside of Canva, uh, JPEG, PNG, and then you've got HEIC and WebP files that you can upload. You can't yet export as WebP files, but you can edit WebP files. And then down here, as we start scrolling, you can see you've, we've already looked at this bit where we change each of the options and then below that you've got your recent designs this is just going to be all of your recent designs that you have been creating and as i say i've allowed this to get into a total hot mess of designs i use both this account for my training and doing some other things like on my lego side and that's it for looking at the canva homepage. 
If you want to find out more about how to get started with your new design inside of Canva or get started creating your first design in Canva, make sure you click like and follow. Once part two and that video is out, I will link that on the end card and also down in the description before. I'm going to create a whole playlist of all of the videos that I'm going to be doing on how you can get started in Canva. So that's the beginner's guide to Canva uh, for 2024. And we're going to be doing more and more videos on getting started with Canva in 2024 and making sure you can crush it with Canva in 2024. Until next time, thank you very much. Bye for now.